The birds we choose for endodontic access preparation, like fingerprints, are unique to each clinician. After completing over 26,000 root canals during my 30-year career as an endodontist, I was asked by Brassler USA to put together the most minimalistic access kit that I could with the main goal of managing the maximum number of scenarios with the minimum number of burrs all in one kit. Given the recent evolution of material science into increasingly harder crown and bridge materials, what I wanted to do was to include burrs that can access efficiently through enamel, dentin, amalgam, and composite restorations, as well as the much harder Emacs and zirconia crowns. The resulting kit is the Real World Endo Modern Materials Access Kit, which includes eight burrs that I use in root canal access preparation in almost all clinical situations that I face. In most cases, one or two burrs is all that is needed for accessing a tooth, but in some molars, you may need more than two. Having eight burrs will allow enough of an overlap to help you access both anterior and posterior teeth restored with a variety of restorative materials. In this video, what I wanted to do was to share with you each burr in the access kit and why it was chosen and how it should be used clinically. So let's take a quick look at these eight burrs in the Rewild Endo access kit. The first two burrs in the kit are outline burrs. The 1557 and 1558 saber cut burrs are rounded cross-cut fissure burrs that can cut efficiently through a variety of metallic and non-metallic restorative materials, as well as enamel and dentin. These two are the bread and butter burrs that I use in almost all cases and all preparations. I use the thinner 1557 saber cut burr on smaller occlusal tables such as anteriors and premolars and use the thicker 1558 saber cut on molars. The closest equivalent to these burrs are the great white burrs by SS White. The main advantage of the saber cut burrs over the other ones is the fact that the latter is milled from a single piece of metal and not welded at the tip where the susceptibility to fracture of the burr can occur right at the tip. So it's one piece of metal and that's the advantage. The next burr in the kit is the flat diamond that I use uh, to flatten the occlusal plane during access preparation. Now this helps reduce post-op pain as well as creating a flat surface for measurement of the reference point. Of course, this is done only in cases where complete occlusal coverage will be provided after root canal therapy in the form of a crown or an onlay. The next two burrs are very specialized. The 6801 and the 6856 are both Duracut burrs. Duracut burrs are specially designed burrs by Brassler USA that use strongly brazen and adhered diamond particles to the burr's shank. That prevents the loosening and dislodging of the diamond particles when they contact very hard materials like the stronger lithium disilicate Emacs and zirconia crowns. And this helps prevent balding of the diamond burr by loosening the cutting particles way too quickly. Recent studies have shown now that these diamonds are the most efficient in cutting through these materials and can withstand the hardness of these modern materials better than conventional coarse diamonds. It's important to understand, however, that whenever you're cutting through these surfaces, you should use a lot of water and brush very gently by feathering away the surface of the material very slowly to avoid heat generation that could cause cracking and later crown failure. The round duracut is used for access outline and the long one is used for straightening the access and the outline form once the pulp chamber has been reached in order to get straight line access. Keep in mind that this takes at least a couple of minutes to get through a single millimeter of zirconia crown in a safe manner. By the way, having a powerful electric handpiece like the Forza electric handpieces is a very helpful complement to these burrs. The H269GK is a general purpose carbide burr like the LN or the EZ burr that like the long Duraca diamond burr helps refine the axis in non-crowned teeth in order to get straight line access. On the right side, we can also see two surgical length slow speed burrs that are used to remove decay, refine the axis and reposition the canal orifices as needed. These burrs, along with a couple of ultrasonic tips, can help create the straight line access, which is required for successful irrigation and efficient instrumentation during your root canal therapy. Three additional empty slots are available in this burr caddy for any specialty burrs needed or any personal preference you may have. 
clinically, I use instrument cassettes and kits. And for each endo case that we do clinically, we have one of these bird kits included on my tray. Now at the end of the procedure, the assistant takes the bird kit along with the rest of the instruments and the caddy is brushed and all the macro debris is removed. The bird kit is autoclaved with the burrs inside and sterilized and it's ready for use again. You can get multiple, multiple uses out of these caddies and also of the burrs if you are using them uh, gently without pushing too hard and brushing away gently. As burrs dull out after several use, any burr is replaced in each kit as needed. So they're basically uh, just replaced by the assistant or by the doctor. At the end, I'm very proud of this minimalistic kit that packs a punch and helps you access through modern materials using burrs with the highest quality, allowing maximum efficiency. Now, I'm sure that you will find this collection of burrs in this burr kit extremely helpful during your access preparations. If you have any questions that come up, visit me on social media and our website, rewildendo.com, and drop a message.